welcome back to another fantastic episode of Bardic Inspiration. Welcome back. Natural Ones Bardic Inspiration Podcast, to be exact. I, I think that probably is the name. I think that's what's sticking. It seems to be what's sticking. You just kind of throw it all against the wall and see what happens. It's like spaghetti in a, in a trash Mashed potatoes. Bag. What? Okay, anyway, say, welcome back, everybody. So I was going to do this by myself, and I, I, I didn't have time. Yeah. The, the Bilbo Baggins was out of town, and mm-hmm. I just didn't have... I was like, okay, I'm going to do my own 5.5. Well, this is episode six, so you can see what happened. That's it, right. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. So uh, we lied. This was all going to be quiet, and we just... I feel like we need to come clean. We yeah. decided to do more Yeah. than just two, five, as we were planning. What? Oh, yeah. Um, but <laughs> we decided to keep going. It's, yeah. Surprise! Um, yeah. We weren't quite done. We really like hanging out That's, with you. Yeah, I mean, we're we're in your ears. You can't see us, but we're with you. Um, before this gets any weirder, let's get started with <laughs> this week in D and D. What's new in D and D? Hmm. So we have the Wizards of the Coast released more Unearthed Arcana. I know, and a lot of it. <clears throat> they just a lot. went nuts. They went quiet for a while after Avernus released, and they were just like, "We're coming up with something." Yeah. And then they did. They did. They did it! Yeah, so they've got variants for pretty much every feature. I mean, feature? Yeah, they've got feature class. variants for every class. <laughs> yeah. So if you if your <laughs> class feels a little bit underwhelmed, um, if or if it just feels averagely whelmed, go... <laughs> go yeah, go it's whelming. Go, go check it out and, and get a little overwhelmed, because there's a lot here to read and enjoy, frankly. He read some of it to me while I was driving over here, and it, was, right. it was very... It was very nice. Yeah, they looks like they made a few favorable changes to the Ranger, which a lot of people are probably going to be happy about. Or really upset. You can never tell if the D&D community. <laughs> <laughs> They're either going to love it or they might burn down the studios. It's true. But the good news is I, I really liked what they did with the spell They casting. either enhanced or replaced a lot of stuff. Yeah, the spell casting. Yeah. I feel like Rangers the versatility. needed a little more. They did a lot of versatility with the classes, too. You can change spells. I kind of like that. After your rests. Yeah. It's kind of what we do unintentionally. We were unearthing Arcana before it was cool. <laughs> out of laziness. They, more built, than they built this play test out of the way that we already play. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's kind of how it runs. <laughs> unintentionally. But no, no there's, a, there's a ton of cool stuff in there. Seriously. Yeah. Each class has a bunch of stuff that you honestly could find use for. Yeah. So check it out. Unearthed Arcana. Yeah, uh, Wizards of the Coast, if yeah. you're not familiar. That's going to be... What was that website again, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> dnd.wizards.com. not sponsored. <laughs> by, but heck, you know, Wizards. Someday, you know what? Someday we will be, but not yeah, yet. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, also, speaking of sponsors... We had a crazy thing happen this week, didn't we? Ba-dum, ba-dum. Didn't we? Um <laughs> Which eventually I'd like to do some like giveaway stuff for, but for now we're just gonna tell you about it uh, because it's it's in its infancy. Um, I, if you knew and you know and you've been around, you know that I'm obsessed and love, and we even talked about it in the previous episode we did. about Incarnate. And ironically, they messaged me that same day that I posted it. Didn't even know that I mentioned them at all. <laughs> like none. I even mentioned it to him. I'm like, was this because of the podcast? He's like, what? <laughs> I mean, but like I'm always talking about them. It's not. Anyway, so they messaged me and they're like, hey, you know what? Uh, Without giving any further details, other than the fact that they are going to be releasing some new stuff and they wanted to kind of sponsor some of our posts and some of our stuff. And and so I told them that, hey, I already mentioned you in almost everything we do. So now it's it's like they gave me some cool stuff that uh, I'm able to talk about, which they're going to be releasing a fantasy thing. And it doesn't, it's undetermined of the date, but they, I've checked it out. I've made a map off of it. They've got some cool stuff in it. Uh, their Incarnate Pro obviously has a ton of cool stuff. It's, it's obviously a map builder if you don't know what it is. And uh, they, it's bigger. Um, Incarnate, you can, better. you can do it for free. You can. You can go on Incarnate right now, make a little thing and, and start making stuff. But Incarnate Pro gives your map a much bigger size. You have a lot more like shading tools. It's a lot more in depth. And I honestly believe it's like $25 a month, not a month, uh, $25 a year or $5 a month. (laughs) And honestly, $25 
for a whole year of this is so cool. So anyway, um, we just wanted to shout them out since they have been shouting us out. So thank you very much for listening. Mm-hmm, thank you. For that, that kind of ad read. That That's very good. <laughs> Sehr gut. Yes. So what you doing over there? It. I am uh, <laughs> trying to be as distracting as possible. <laughs> no, I'm just curious because it looks very technical. I am Put your pants pairing. back on and would you continue? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yes, I'm I'm pairing my shorts with the computer. Oh well, yeah. don't do that too much. I I heard electrical birds are horrible. Um, anyway, so today, um, and now that all that the fluff and stuff is out of the way, mm. we're going to continue with our roboticacy. <laughs> Look, I like pronouncing it wrong on purpose because, like, I know there's that one guy in the in the comments that's just like itching to say something until I shout it out myself. Um, but no, today we're going to be talking more about the map that we have on Instagram, which is Ooh. Natural One Official. And someone made fun of me the other day. They're like, <laughs> "Official? It's not like you're huge." I'm like, "It's all about what you want. <laughs> it's not what there is." What you doing, man? Is there is everything okay? Yeah, we're good. You're well, good. I'm, I'm just I'm trying real hard to pair this keyboard. Uh, uh, pairs. Well, yeah. Cool. I don't know why I waited till the podcast to do this. No, it's all good. Um, but anyway, so we're gonna be starting to talk about uh, the last time we talked about Trastin and Etheridge, or the Kingdom of Muljad and the Kingdom of Bowrin. Uh, Trastin, which if you remember was a kind of tundra-ish barbaric lands and there was a, a lake town kind yeah, of like yeah. much like in Lord of the Rings um, more like uh, it is in Lord of the Rings but it's more like uh, The Hobbit but anyway uh, and then the other place was fields fields of gold um, no it was fields Strawberry of death essentially strawberry <laughs> fields yeah with sailboats on the land yes. I remember that and like patties kind of, we kind of mentioned rice patties yeah rice patties it was. It yes. was very Eastern. It was taken over by uh, a group of people that ended up being repressed by this whole keeper and veneration thing. But Very barbaric tribes. They live in the hills. They're kind of forced to kill each other. Yeah. I mean, it makes them have fun because they have a huge arena that like can change into like a desert landscape, a jungle landscape, a sea battle area. I mean, it, it's a really huge place. Um, but it's cool. Anyway, yeah. that's what we did last time. So if you missed that episode, now you don't need to watch it at all. <laughs> Just kidding. It's definitely worth listening yeah, to. Yeah, we, we, yeah, yeah. It's... So are you okay? <laughs> Let's talk about this. I'm, I, yeah. <laughs> 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 all right. Um, so where, where do you think, <sighs> you think today's adventure takes us? What are we fleshing out that you feel well, like would be beneficial? there's beneficial? plenty of land left in the continent. There is. We've only covered two kingdoms and briefly that. Um, Andoman. 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 <laughs> uh, that's actually like a, an Irish thing that just means the world, essentially. Uh, I was thinking domain. Yeah, you're not on the wrong track there. That's pretty close. Um, And uh, so we have either Kingdom of Pendros, Kingdom of uh, Erlandin, or Leofath, or the uh, Kingdom of Shekra. Or, oh, oh, wait, wait, we can't forget the Kingdom of Artem. Um, We have a few kingdoms we could definitely cover. But again, this doesn't encompass all of it. We're trying to get the feel of the major points. Each area is going to be fleshed out just like any good place in the world. It's not like you go to the United States and you see cowboys. Even though if you go on It's a Small World, the land... Uh, I right saw in so many cowboys this weekend in Vegas. Holy smokes. Dude, there's a lot of cowboys in Vegas. There was some, Like almost too much It was cowboys. all cowboys and Asians, 100%. Were there cowboy Asians? You know, I don't know that I saw both. There should have been both. Yeah. Because it's kind of a, a staple to go to, you know, go to Las Vegas and... Anyway, so... And see um, uh, Korean Elvis or... Yeah, no, yeah, so true. Yeah. So true. <laughs> and talented at that. Yeah. Have you heard, like, Korean Elvises? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. They're great. Dude, they are insane. What are we even... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for inspiration here. <laughs> no, I got plenty of that. Um, fine, I'm picking. One, two, three. Andoran. 
Yep. Yeah. Andorn. Okay. Kingdom of Pendros. It is, if you're on Instagram now, good. I'm glad that you reached it here. If you did, Ooh. close your, your phone because that probably didn't work too well because we only have it on YouTube right now. We're having some technical issues. <laughs> um, I'm new. Chill. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, if you're listening to this later, good for you. We did yeah, it. We did it. Uh, <laughs> we did it. Well, before episode 30, we figured it out. Yeah. Um. Uh, anyway, Kingdom of Pendros in Andorn is a... It's kind of like a, it's got like a little smackerel of, of uh, uh, two islands. A smackerel? Yeah, a smackerel <laughs> is what we're calling it. Is that it. like a half fish? Yeah, it kind of looks like a couple fish just hanging out a little bit. Open foams. Really slap. deformed looking fish now that I think about yeah. it. Anyway, um, so there is a little tiny islands around them, but there's two large land masses. So let's discuss what would Andorn look like or... In some cases, I feel like it could look like a couple things because it's huge. Yeah, uh, maybe one part jungle, one part ashy Deathville, which could yeah. be because islands tend to have that whole black rock, black sand, maybe black sand. I mean, beaches. yeah, if you're talking about like yeah, like a Pacific island. I kind of want to do that. I don't know if we uh, a lot of lava rock and yeah, and maybe there's like. It's really pretty, but super deadly. Maybe there's some active volcanoes. Oh, there probably need to be, of course. Yeah. Well, I mean, and this which is, means you could grow new land masses to fit certain. Hence quests. all the, the tiny islands around that. Yeah. Maybe there's a landmass that comes up from the old world. Oh no, not Atlantis. <laughs> yes, a, a form of Atlantis. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I think that. Um, what would the city people be like? What would they? What, they would definitely have a city. It was a kingdom. Mm. So it lives in a medieval world, and there's a kingdom of people that live by the sea. I kind of think like Italian, almost pre-Italian Renaissance, where they were just super, like really pretty buildings. I mean, that's just one thought. So like, I don't want to do too cliche, where it's like it looks like <clears throat> like uh, a bunch of Pacific Island houses, like Ven- Venice or like Sicily. Yeah, I mean something that's like. Yeah, let's do it kind of like Sicily. I think that would yeah. be really cool. Yeah. And then... So there's, like, a lot of, like, cliff face homes. That's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. And you remember in... Uh, were you on Capri? that? Capri? Yeah, yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking, uh-huh. Capri, where it's really, like, over the top pretty. But I wouldn't want to say it's... Maybe it's gorgeous, but it's politically very dangerous place to be. Hmm. Like, there'd be a lot of intrigue there. Not like... You know how okay. in Etheridge, there's a lot of slog in it. You know, everyone's killing each other all the time. Just... Insane so battles. maybe one of these islands would be like the main volcanic island, and the other one could be more like, yeah, an Italian isle. Yeah, something <laughs> something really pretty and uh, a place that they're very wealthy. Maybe the trade there from it's pretty far away. Trade would be pretty interesting. Magic exists yeah, in the world. Teleportation so. circles. Yeah. It's <laughs> there's a bunch of shells. <laughs> <laughs> We got it from Andorran. Oh, oh, I'm tired no. of shells. <laughs> My wife can't get enough of them. Our whole house is decorated in shells. <laughs> maybe they special. <laughs> maybe maybe they fashion uh, special uh, rings in their volcanoes oh, and yeah. distribute them to various kingdoms. Yeah, that that could totally be a thing. I don't know what it might be derivative of, but it's almost <laughs> like we're trying to make this place a little bit. Hey, why not? Why not? Yeah. I mean, maybe not rings, but of the sort. No, maybe veneration yeah. hangs out on one of the islands. It's hidden in Andorra. Be an easy way to hide. If there were like dozens, if not hundreds, of islands around Andorra. Well, the the history, if you remember, let me get my glasses on. Oh. Um, apparently. <laughs> that is a strange sound to put glasses on. I'm not a. I'm Insert not a sound, sound technician. Boing. <laughs> 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 Like something totally off wall. Um, <laughs> <laughs> forget it. The podcast is now sound effects. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, anyway, what I was kind of thinking before I got so, so rudely interrupted by myself, <laughs> the history of the world, long story short, we had it, we had, we had decided kind of that it was, they were meeting in secret, right? You remember? Ew. Like the, the, council? the council? Yeah. They didn't want, so where would they go? Like off a little island? No, they're gonna go h- hang out in a place that's that would accommodate them, which would probably make sense that a bunch of people are going to. So, like the Incredibles. 
Yeah, like that Secret little base island. Under a, under yeah. a volcano. <laughs> well, essentially, typical like Bond villain esque place, and they're not meaning it to be at first, but eventually that could totally be a cover. It doesn't have to be a volcano. It doesn't. I know that we're basing this off of Lord of the Rings, you know, heavily because it has to be because it's part of the challenge. But maybe people just like shells and rocks. I was thinking, if you're listening, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was just thinking no, that I know that's what they're into. <laughs> I just think that having a really nice, pretty area, being the ruse for a place that is totally and completely ruthlessly horrible. Starbound. <laughs> Sorry, he's looking up some uh, lava resorts, and Starbound is actually one of my sleeper games, and I, uh-huh. one of my favorites. I come back to it over and over. It's just the art style is so, just pixel art, but also polished. Very cool. Underrated, severely underrated game. Can't say like, played it. Yeah. Well, that's because we're gonna. We should do a let's play <laughs> <laughs> together. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> we're, we're a variety channel, if anything. <laughs> <laughs> We're rarely one thing. Right. Anyway, um, on the note, though, of of creating this, this little island area, what about the people? I mean, obviously, they don't have to be like, hey, hello, what about going to buy pizza? They don't have to be the stupid, constant, like, Italians are so, like, rich, their they're, they're world. And mm-hmm. uh, if you look at, like, how they are and had their history, I mean, look at the Romans. Right. Like... They're, everyone, when they do an Italian, they do this, the, the pizza and the, the, the mozzarella. Yeah. And you're like, no, yeah. just an Italian, like a true, like strong culture. I mean, Italian, Italy was the center of the world for how long? <laughs> right, the Roman Empire, yeah. I mean, everyone says Rome is the capital of the world, or at least, and, and what was it, Greece is the navel? <laughs> if you think about most of Western culture, it has to be derivative of... Greek and, and Greek Roman and culture. Roman. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, there's a huge influence of, of the uh, the Middle East and... Well, it's and a, it's like a melting that. pot now, but I mean... yeah. Yeah. But back then, oh, massive. They controlled the world. Yeah. But I feel like maybe, I mean, because this isn't the whole world, mind you. This is a huge section of the world, like massive. But like, there could be more islands. There could be large peninsulas. I mean, elsewhere. But I imagine that this is kind of like the center. Like, everything kind of leads to Andorran. It'd be really cool <laughs> if, like, I, I don't know how he would necessarily be, like, um, hiding. You're talking about veneration? Veneration, yeah. yeah. But, like, if he was on uh, an island with huge cliffs and maybe he finds a way to, like, shroud his castle, but, like, a castle on top of a really high cliff. So I think Capri is a very good example of right. those high cliffs. Yeah. that the, You said Capri, and I instantly I was thinking, oh, cliffs. You remember but, that boat ride going underneath mm-hmm, all those little areas? Mm-hmm, it would be cool. Yeah. Beautiful. By the way, look it up. If you don't know what Capri is, go look it up right now. Stop what you're doing. Pause. Go look it up so you can see what we're talking about. There are, it, I mean, it's it's like a gorgeous f- island. It's like a fortress, but it's like a tourist yes. trap from just heaven. <laughs> Imagine that this place looks like the island of Capri. I mean, this whole area. I think that was a good choice. Yeah. Tall cliffs, uh, fortifications, beautiful like Venetian, Roman. I mean, it, just Italian architecture, bright colors. I mean, it, I want it to look freaking beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> just boats all over the place. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it would probably have a very good shipping area. So I, I imagine nautical stuff could be really cool here. What if your players start here? You know how they, they get thrown into like a prison? Uh-huh. It would be like a really lavish, well done prison. I, you know how we talked about like, uh, starting how, areas? How Tyrion gets thrown into the cliff face prison <laughs> where one of no your walls kidding. is just open. And oh, it's <laughs> that would be really cool. <laughs> a that huge fall to your death view. But like massive cliffs. We're talking about hundreds of feet high. Right. And so like to the fall, oh, it's water. No, it doesn't work like that. When you're 300 feet up. <laughs> Unless you're a monk, which gravity doesn't fall. exist. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, they're like, mm, I'm not going to get hurt. It's like, uh, Nicholas, you better than the rest of us. <laughs> we love monks here. <laughs> don't don't get me wrong, but there are certain things that I'm just like, okay, sure. It th- kind of throws RP out the window. But it, then again, it's, it's fantasy. Key. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> they, they float with key. It's a light airy energy <laughs> i meditated so i don't fall as fast in the bosom region yes it keeps you afloat especially in the bosom region <laughs> um okay i like it 
Um, what would be the struggles of this area? Like, what would be... Okay, obviously it's gorgeous, but that's like outward beauty. There's always... <clears throat> right. There's always something else. The seedy underbelly. Yeah, maybe Capri is full of... I mean, not Capri. <laughs> 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 I mean, it is. I need to close this page, don't I? <laughs> I want to look at it. Um, but, like, I think that Andorran, this, this place, the main island, I'd say where Andorran is, this is like Capri. It's huge, by the way. It would have to be massive. Because yeah. look look at the other place. I mean, I mean, Treston is huge. Yeah. But like, and it's and that's. I mean, this awesome. is like three times the size of one of these islands. The main island is like three times the size of the Treston Lake Town. I would say between which was like a twenty five thousand person population. I would say between Andorran, uh, that that whole island, and Atheridge, those two places, that space between there, mm-hmm. I would say that's like six hundred miles. You know, like yeah. really far. Huge. Yeah. I mean, but all those islands are full. I mean, there's tiny ones you can't see are full of mercantilism. There's just, it's beautiful. That's, I would imagine that sea's very well guarded by like an imperial so fleet. This, this would be like the say, size of a, like an average state in the U.S. I would say, yeah. yeah. Much like, uh, let's say, close to Texas. Like pretty big. Oh, well, Texas is... Humongous. Huge. Okay, maybe not. Okay, let's <laughs> say that... Like that place. I, that would probably be more <laughs> Texas ish, right? <laughs> yeah, Atheridge is more. The yeah. Kingdom of Boran. Let's yeah. say the Kingdom. And you can see the. And if you're on Instagram looking at the map as well. Um, by the way, if you don't know where it is, you can always just message me and I can send it to you. But it, it's on Instagram. It's easy to talk about right now because it's where it is. Yeah. Um, there's clear markers. So it, you, there's little, little dotted lines that show the kingdoms and where they were before veneration just kind of said, it's all mine. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I would say maybe, you know, Colorado. You know, so. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's more sensible. <laughs> yeah. Just go with me here. It's Texas. Uh, Big hats. So, Africa, basically. <laughs> right. I think they're roughly the same land mass. Oh, that's insane. That's hard to believe. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, okay, so beautiful. What do you think that the, the obviously, Veneration holds? He is the puppet master, but the yeah. world exists with strictures you can't do certain things but i would, how would think this, how would it, social life be it, here would I, be? I i would think it wouldn't be too insane because maybe he wouldn't want attention drawn to near where he lives maybe this place could be like super crime ridden but like high high class crime <laughs> so hmm. maybe he just lets it slide because he's like I'm not going to let anyone think that I'm, like, right here. <laughs> what if it was, like, the Switzerland of the world where everybody's got, like, their their banks, their offshore accounts where they store all of their oh, goods? Oh, yeah. And... <laughs> okay. I like that. So, and I know this is a topical thing, but it's like that that planet on Star Wars and Return of the Jedi. Not Return of the Jedi. Oh, gosh. People are going to hurt me for that. <laughs> um, the one... That's most recent. Gosh, I can't remember it. Uh, The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi. Gosh, I am so... I'm a fan, and I don't remember. (laughs) I just donated blood, guys, so (laughs) forgive my brain. Um, But remember in The Last Jedi how how there's that whole gambling, beautiful... uh It's kind of like that where it's got this own little, like, ecosystem of, Uh of just insane luxury so maybe like the dirty part of the world is like slavery kind of in yeah. a similar fashion okay so there's a lot of slave like indentured servitude yeah. and slaves and things like that yeah i thought that'd be cool because you can do an uprising or something cool like that yeah um probably not the best place to start one but <laughs> i guess your players would find that out stuck in the middle of nowhere <laughs> well mostly because if veneration's there <laughs> it's not the best place you want to start an uprising <laughs> yeah period, but i would yeah. imagine he's on the other island that big one that's yeah. next to it, or even a smaller one. I mean, that's true. If he's if he's avoiding the public eye, and he shows up, but I mean, it's not not for long. Okay, no, I think that's good. I think that is a solid plan for that. So place. if we're doing doing this similar to how we did before, I'm going to grab the DM. The hundred masters. Yep. I don't know. I said hundred, but uh, okay. So there are. A good there's a good deal of of landmass there, so it doesn't have to all be this place. I, if you've seen the coast of Italy, it's it's very beautiful, but it's very different. I mean, there's some places that it's just like nothing but like olive groves, 
And then there's other places that are just like this, like like we're talking about with Capri, just gorgeous blue like water. Like in uh, New Delhi, or not New Delhi. Uh, no, I know what you're talking about. There's that little... There's li- where well, the Oracle lived. What was that place called? Delphi. Delphi. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah, Del- New that, Delhi. Not, not in India. <laughs> no, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that I, accent I was. It was not anything. It was just like, <laughs> <laughs> it was just or, Dave accent. Whatever that means. Um, but anyway, I, I we didn't even like talk about who we were. We just, just jumped in. You know who we are. Shut up. <laughs> what? I'm talking to myself. <laughs> um, anyway, so what do you think? Uh, I mean, obviously, the people are going to be pretty snooty, I think, and a good broad scheme. But I also think that they're, they're very like like horse races, but some exotic beasts. Yeah. Like so, monster racing. So if this or, were like Colorado size, they would have all kinds of elevations. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, especially with that huge main Island. Um, I want, I kind of want the whole Southern part of, so, so see Andorran on the map, see that little dot. Mm-hmm. I want that straight. If you did drew a line straight across from coast to coast, and then that whole section down, I want that to be the city, just humongous okay. on the south like, end, just huge, biggest city in the world. Okay, like and it's totally sustainable because of the that fish, because of the um, just the mercantilism that's able to go through there, the wealth from all the people. Mm. Maybe people who lived in other places that kind of are like let's let's get away from this riffraff. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Maybe that's like the Florida of the world. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> so <laughs> lots of drugs and old people. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say that. <laughs> but yes. Uh, <laughs> um, no, I. But I'm talking about like retirement is more what I meant, but. <laughs> So yeah, old people. Yeah, but no, I just say that the fabulously wealthy. It's like the French Riviera. I mean, it also looks like Capri. It's all that same kind of mm-hmm. coastal, beautiful area. Tall buildings, colorful buildings. Yeah, definitely. So what do you think? What do you? What do so you, what are you thinking? Uh, right population size. Ooh. I'd say most large about, uh, cities. That's like one hundred fifty thousand people, maybe. Yeah. I mean, that's huge. No, I know it's huge. I, I purposely well, think... Well, if it's overly wealthy, maybe it's bigger homes, less com- compact. Maybe the population's not quite that high. Well, no. Um, yeah, that's that might actually... You think about where we live, this is about, what, 110,000 in our city? What about... In the cliff face, there is carved out the homes of the... Of the servants and the people like that. Okay. So like around the the backside of like the the areas, there's just these hovels carved into the side of the mountains. So the servants are all cave dwellers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously the more the more wealthy ones are living in living the homes, in the homes yeah. because they would need their servants. <laughs> but I'm talking about like the average builders, merchants. My bed's made out of mud. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. <laughs> I think of like you see this because look at look at for instance that picture right there that we we're looking at. Look at all the little tiny houses this on one? those little strings of road. Yeah, I mean there's the main city up above, and then there's these tiny little strings. Everything zigzagged through the cliff face. It's not as uh, uniform. It's not like you had a city planner. Well, I mean they probably did. Kind sure, of, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Who was drunk off there? <laughs> I mean, they um, just kind of built until there was no more room. They're like, um, can I build here? You know what? Yeah. <laughs> How much money do you have? Yeah, do it. <laughs> Is it safe? Oh, well, you know, it's mostly safe. Do it anyway. You know what I mean? I feel like that was the conversation. Good sturdy rock, you're good. <laughs> it ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Look at that guy with a flute. What a freak. Anyways, <laughs> guys, sorry. We're looking at pictures trying to find out like that inspiration there. But it is beautiful. It's a satyr, David. I know it's a satyr. <laughs> I know the difference between a satyr and a, and a guy. A guy. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, a little bit. No, um, I would like some underwater adventures here, too, when I when I write some stuff up. Some Scuba s- diving. Sea caves. Or, like, they have a magical air bubble, or they can breathe underwater. And they go and find Jar Jar Binks? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, or, like, uh, the hidden treasure chest that fell down there from uh, I think that shipwreck. The, I think this place could have, like, a lot of indigenous people that were just kind of, like, the current slaves because that's kind of what people do 
Yeah. We're talking about history. I'm not talking about right and wrong. That's screwed up. I'm not going to say the other word, but I about did. Yeah. It, it, it truly is a, is a hot button. I, I think it's such a crappy thing everyone does. Let's conquer. Oh, by the way, you're now our slaves. Uh, uh, <laughs> all over the world, it happens. It, it happens. Happened. So in this case, to yeah. be somewhat historically accurate, they would have to. I would imagine the people here are just like, uh, like island people. They just really enjoy the place. So... Uh, are they in, uh, are the indigenous creatures human or would they be another race? I would like to I think wonder. they're another race. Yeah. I would, it, cause you and I were thinking human that the people that own it, uh-huh. right? Yeah. Cause it's expansionism. It's, we, we don't live a long life. So let's go take over something and just right. freaking mess it up. Yeah. Humans do that. Um, so in this case, what kind of race? Maybe like half orcs. No, that would be kind of two half orcs, too many half orcs. Goblins. Or, Goblins. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just imagining this rich area with a bunch of goblin servants. Yes, master. <laughs> Be like uh, Harry Potter and the the ones who run the bank. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, that would be funny. <laughs> what a bunch of what about a bunch of gnomes? That could work. The ingenuity of the gnomes yeah. creating this place. Yeah. The underbelly of this place is run by like tinkering moving <laughs> objects. I don't know. You've got like Swanky underground bars being run by gnomes. <laughs> Please, can we make this happen? That would be fantastic. They wouldn't need much room, would they? Well, that'd actually be pretty fun if we did gnomes. That would be awesome. Yeah. The indigenous islanders are gnomes. Are gnomes. I. That would be cool because then the whole area down below in there. You could do an underground Sferf Nebly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, my goodness. They could do the dark gnomes. The dark gnomes. Uh, under. It, they're basically the they're basically running all the ma- the machinery that that is made up uh, here, and it's maybe maybe they're a bit enslaved by veneration as well. So he probably allows it. What if the whole island is like a mechanical structure? What if it's a front for where he makes his his uh, automobile special stuff? juice? Yeah, those, no, you know how you talk. We're talking about the warforged, uh-huh. but also warforged oh, creatures. Yeah, maybe yeah. they're brought to this island secretly mm-hmm. by like a smuggling ring, and they think that they're doing some cool stuff. Right. But they're actually just giving veneration a whole bunch of things to work with. Yeah. And maybe the Smurf Nebly Smurf <laughs> that <laughs> the made Smurf Nebly. so much. Now better. they're blue underground <laughs> gnomes with hats. Smurf and Smurf. <laughs> Listen, you smurfer. Um, Smurf and veneration. <laughs> I imagine the snurf, smurf, Nevlin, snurf, I can't say it. What is wrong with me? <laughs> I can't say it now because you said it wrong so many times. <laughs> okay. The, Smurf Nebly. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm not even going to try anymore. The Smurf and Smurfers. The Smurf Neblin. So they are under the ground. I imagine they are creating these things for him. Yeah, because they're pretty dark and messed up anyway. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you really, uh, you know, I'm reading a lot more of the uh, Exile books, whatever. I can't. Yeah. Think of, you know what I'm talking about. Exile is the one that you'd. That's the one I'm on. Viv rip. That's what the guy says. Oh, okay. I was, <laughs> I was like, did you just have a? Maybe stroke? you haven't met him yet. I'm actually, I think I have. Oh, okay. Uh, it sounds familiar. I just may have read it different than you did. <laughs> um No. So okay. I, I think that's canon. Yeah. That the gnomes are typically the ones who are the servants and the... S- the Swerf Nebly. Swerf, Swerf Nebly. Yeah, yeah. Gosh. I don't know why I just created yeah, the not. M. I just gave up and was like, <laughs> Smurf. Um, the Swerf Nebly are the basic, like, the, the ones who are helping create mm-hmm. a lot of the constructs. They're like the current artificers for Veneration's Yeah. Like a really projects. messed up Oompa Loompa. Yeah. <laughs> To his Wally Wonka. Wally Wonka. Wally Wonka. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. That's Lord of the Rings, right? <laughs> it's like Wally, but okay. All right, here we go. So I feel like that that pretty much sums up. That, that seems pretty area. cool. Like I could see that. If, if it was presented kind of like how we were discussing, but then like you find out like about this other stuff with the gnomes and the... Well, because then the gnomes would have this, you. like, classist, uh, racist thing uh-huh. towards the Swerf Nebly because they have to own something. Right. Because they're gnomes. They're awesome. They don't deserve yeah. this. Right. But humans kind of <laughs> suck, and so they just show up, and they're just like... Hey, this could have been hundreds of years ago. Right. This doesn't have to be, like, just recently. Current. They're yeah. used to this. But the only recent thing is the Swerf Nebly, who are being used by veneration to essentially create 
different monstrosities with somewhat like plated metal with some different enchantments on them. I think it, I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so I feel like we got that pretty good. Uh, let's see. Was there anything else that you think that this place? Obviously, there's so much we need to flesh out now for each area. Yeah, if we're yeah, and if there's a lot of like a lot of nobles here. I wonder what the government, the island government, would look like. <gasps> Ooh, I've got it. I got it. 100%. You know the book uh, Guide to Ravnica? Ravnica, yeah, uh-huh, I mean? Uh-huh. That book is full of just a big city. I mean, if you actually look at the book, it is full of a big city with a bunch of guilds that are running this. But they're very, like, powerful guilds. Okay. Because you know how we mentioned guilds before? Yeah. I would imagine I would want to create this kind of world, this section, to be very classist like oh our guild does this uh-huh. and oh our guild is doing this and there's some fighters here and there's some but no mostly like noble type people okay but like with different you know spins on so them. It, it it could be like the silicon valley yeah i mean there's so many different types of people there yeah. and but they're all creating maybe they're they love invention uh-huh. maybe they that's how they got their they're like riches. The, they're like the business leaders of the world <laughs> Oh, cool. <laughs> and they think they're better than everyone else. I think right. a cool event would also be like the uprising of the Svervnebly and the <laughs> yeah. gnomes being like, screw you, we're yeah. taking it. That could eventually lead to a discovery of what veneration might be if that... Well, especially if they... If he's nearby. If they go deep, because there's, there's some serious dungeons. What if, they, you know, what if the uh, adventurers break the machine that's cloaking Veneration's island, you know? Well, that could be like endgame stuff, yeah. for sure. Uh-huh. Well, and then they could find out some coordinates, like nautical coordinates of where they're sending these things. Yeah. Because, I mean, someone's got to show. Oh, there's nothing on the map. Yeah. Oh, cool. Can't see anything out there. What's out there? Maybe it's a made island. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it floats. A floating island. Why yeah. not? It's, yeah. it's something. Maybe it's an underwater fortress. Ooh, that'd be cool, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking uh, uh, Bioshock. When, you know, like, when he goes down the bathosphere oh, uh-huh. and he's, like, going down, he's like... I'm Andrew Ryan. <laughs> Russia says no, it's for everybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> You're like going down in this like veneration's just talking to you. <laughs> and we're just like, you straight up stole this from us. <laughs> now would you kindly <laughs> yeah. would you kindly help with this? <laughs> anyway, um no, I, I I really I love how we just and this is my favorite part about creating world building and, and you can do this too in your home or uh, underwater with baskets uh, i don't know whatever wherever you find creation is best for you <laughs> i just say things no um wherever you find it, it, it world building is actually seriously one of my favorite things mm-hmm. ever and i just realized that that island looks like a face which one uh trastin see the oh, eyes yeah and then it's like this big long nose it's like a dragonborn's face and he's like spitting out his gum <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, He's going, I know, we had no, yeah, 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 we had no yeah, idea what yeah, that place yeah. was going to look like. Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh, <laughs> that's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so um, they would probably need some kind of defense. I wonder what their defensive strategies would look like. Huge walls. If it was with like catapults and ballista, uh, I would think mechanical stuff, hands down, well, because they got gnomes, the gnomes to do the work. Gnomes can make some serious stuff. Yeah. So I imagine they begrudgingly ballista and, created some pretty long range ballistas yeah. accurate yeah which would mean i mean and i imagine the imperial fleet would typically like appear. game of thrones yeah last couple episodes accurate but not last episode accurate oh. this last episode was yeah. not accurate at all <laughs> they missed everything but the episode before they were just <laughs> super dead, dead on. eye <laughs> Like, I can't miss from a million miles away. Of, on a moving boat. <laughs> on a dragon that somehow just... Anyway. All right. Yeah. We're going to, no no spoilers, yeah. <laughs> but anyway. Um, no, I, I think that's a good idea. Um, what about... Um, yeah, definitely. I don't know. I mean, we kind of talked about commerce. It's probably more like banking, like directly with what's actually being done on the island. Well, the, the true money comes from the banking or like the off island. Like their their stuff is happening in the rest of the world, but they kind of bring. I would in the say money most of these people are. are from all the points in the world, but yeah. kind of have their summer home, yeah. or they're just like forget at home there, right. you know, <laughs> or they're uh, escape from the law. <laughs> 
home. Ironically, <laughs> the law biggest one is there, but yeah, <laughs> I think that would be the perfect cover. Yeah, for if I was a bad guy, I'd be like, I'd be like, yeah. I mean, if I was a bad guy wanting to control the world and say uh-huh. I'm a good guy, I would hide in the worst place because <laughs> yeah, because yeah. then they're like, why well, would the best guy ever? So probably people who were like selling stuff there would be like weird, eclectic, extravagant items that like. Enchanted items that just shouldn't just exist. Weird stuff. Weird <laughs> stuff that like nobody really needs that. <laughs> um, this is a pitcher of water that can also be a boat. <laughs> <laughs> also, this it never empties. <laughs> yeah, and so it's not a really good boat, but <laughs> <laughs> but by golly, we made it. <laughs> Best enchanters in the land. <laughs> Right. They're only a little bit high. <laughs> Just a bit. I imagine the enchanters and the gnomes, like, they're leaders. And they're going to have leaders, too. Uh-huh. Just, like, subcultures. So, uh, what, do you think there would be, like, a lot of I think there'd be free crime? gnomes, too. I'm thinking about crime. What would the crime look like in the city? Oh, man. Just or like would a, there be any? I think there would definitely be. But it would be, like, high-class crime. Like, stealing precious... Dragon like head art, or like, <laughs> art thieves, the, and... the bone, yeah, the bones of of Hoobly Doobly, <laughs> which is an under. He's got a parent like a, of Schnoobly Boobly. <laughs> <laughs> they're underdark fungus creatures. <laughs> I imagine those are their names. Seriously, they sound just right. Like that. <laughs> I'm just like Floopy Doop. I'm like not joking. That actually might be a real name. Right, I wouldn't be surprised at all. <laughs> Okay, I think that that pretty much sums up a good portion. Yeah, of that. I Probably feel like it'd be it, pretty tropical too. Oh yeah, in in feel. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, and I feel like the north area would mostly be just beautiful palm tree ish areas. Yeah. Like uh-huh. it's very jungly. You could even have like your favorite yon tea type structures. Yeah, I mean, we kind of talked about off. We'll talk about it now on, but um, <gasps> if there was a volcano. Yeah, on the here next that erupted. Island. This this has happened in the world in places. Uh, the eruption causes so much ash that the surrounding area is now desert. So it'd be cool to have like buried structures underneath desert or well, like. It also, could think about ash Morrowind. Desert. Morrowind. It's acidic too. Yeah, yeah. It's it is hundred percent covered in. Oh yeah, pretty much ash. Uh huh. And which the whole center of the map. It's a whole thriving yeah. area that yeah. lives in ash. So which means the fauna, the the different life, the everything's affected by yeah. volcanic activity. Mm-hmm. So I mean you could definitely create a whole civilization there too. Yeah. It'd you be, could even literally put dark elves. It'd there. be cool if like yeah, you could put dark elves it'd be cool if like like you were saying there could be like buried Yonti temples yeah. or like No, totally. When I when I mean dark elves and cause they have that such a bad disadvantage when it comes to uh-huh. Daylight. Sunlight. <laughs> what if the explosion of this place has permanently made it just an overcast, dark area, so they can mm. live above ground freely, and they have got their stuff down? So there's like a spore, <laughs> a cloud in the air that never goes away. Just never goes away. Just okay. it rains ash daily, but they but they can live above ground. Just in this area. Just in there, they can see it in yeah. Andorra, and they're just like, eh, it's, just avoid that. Just avoid <laughs> that. But it's kind of yeah. like this ominous reminder to the player, especially uh-huh. that if they look out there, that it, it kind of gives this. Uh, I don't know. It'd be it, cool if that was like over the center here, and it reached out over the water. And like like you were saying, there could be like acid rain and that kind of thing, and that would like make some weird creatures. You oh know? yeah, dude, krakens and all sorts of things. Acidic, just, like, acidic. What I would like to is think about. Um, there's this thing in in Ghosts of Saltmarsh, the book. There's kraken priests, and they talk more about these different like cults. Uh-huh. So I feel like it would be cool to have a bunch of like drow kraken priests who also serve Loth, but there's different, you know, Loth, you know, uh-huh. obviously they're going to serve some kind of spider creature. It doesn't have to be the name Loth, but we all know who it is. Yeah. Um, but they also, maybe there's a faction that serves this like kraken. That's like a, a kind of demigod, almost that big, because it's been altered by. It's like some kind of mix between, uh. Cthulhu and Loth. Yeah, like a something spider, horrible. Spider oh, Cthulhu geez. that lives in the sea. Okay, can we please make that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, forget Loth. Loth does not exist in our world. Ours is this kraken spider demon. 
<laughs> Can you imagine? Oh. oh my gosh, I love it. It's, <laughs> it's like Cthulhu and Loth had a baby. <laughs> like if you saw a hundred hundred foot wide spider in the ocean. <laughs> I can see it and I want it's that. so gross. Let's do it. Oh, that sounds terrible. Artists out there, let's get cracking. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? That, oh. was, that was Mark level pun. That was. <laughs> it was a total accident. <laughs> Dang it, I wish I was smart. <laughs> no, I think that whole area, though, I would be... You could have stuff like that in between the islands. That'd really be cool. messed up, altered. I, you know, like hundred hundreds of years of this shade, uh-huh. and these dark elves just living there, just doing what dark elves do: yeah. murder, killing houses. <laughs> you know, I mean, seriously, yeah. dark elves. You they said would killing be, houses. I imagine them like attacking <laughs> homes. <laughs> I'll show your fungus house. <laughs> yeah. But you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. like going from place to place, just murdering each other. They would be the strongest race, probably. If they just joined together, yeah, and stopped being yeah. a bunch of idiots, but they worship chaos, <clears throat> which I imagine yeah. a, a kraken spider is nothing but chaos, right? <laughs> well, I mean, if you look at the sea, what is it? It's so unpredictable. Oh yeah, much like their god or goddess. I would say let's just create it a goddess since yeah. it's kind of their thing. Yeah. It's matriarchal, right? Let's just keep it simple. Yeah, <laughs> it's a kraken god that's also a girl. <laughs> yeah, Cthulhu spider. Um, no, I, I totally love that i i hope i didn't hijack your idea with the whole morrowind thing i just kind of no, was like no. and and throwing dark elves in there i just felt like we need because dark elves they're so cool but they're so limited right and if you started as a dark elf it's like well unless the dm is willing to make some <laughs> exceptions it's gonna be yeah. a really weird campaign i think most people want to be a dark elf because of drist and it's like he's one of a kind <laughs> truly so it's it's hard to really do a dark elf justice I, th- I think i would really like to do like a dark elf paladin but to loth yeah. okay yeah like a male that just totally outcast it's almost kind of like a priestess but on on the male but on end. the male spectrum yeah. totally looked down on but like yeah. i think it would be fun to do like a who you know it'd be fun to do like a mezzo he's, baron he's a like, he's a drow that identifies as a priestess <laughs> Why not? <laughs> it's the it fits current society. It's <laughs> it can totally make sense. I mean, obviously they're not allowed to do certain things, but uh, yeah. I mean, let's not. This is our world. We can make it right. whatever oh, yeah. canon yeah, we yeah. want. I can. Yeah. I say that it's a matriarchal society because yeah. that makes sense. Right. Because that's what it always is. It's but pre-built. It's easy. It is. Yeah. It's super is. And uh, yeah, I feel like that works pretty darn well over yeah. there. Yeah, I like it. Andoran. Andoran is pretty fleshed out. Obviously, there's so much, especially that we added Kraken Spider Gods. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and which would be really interesting if one day that whole island just attacked. <laughs> <And> <laughs> it would be a crazy. Oh, man. It would be crazy. <laughs> yeah. During a, a night raid, a bunch of elf ships just show oh, up. Yeah. I'm sure they would do night raids. I mean, How, well, they probably do, yeah. which is probably why the defenses are so insane. Yeah, what the what the gnomes are doing. I yeah. would like to give them like a like a black dragon, too. Like something that their leader would just... Maybe like a shadow dragon. Yeah, or... something that's like, even like a Draco Lich. Uh-huh. Like a dragon uh-huh. that's also a lich. Uh-huh. Something that's like super like, don't go there. <laughs> Just don't. <laughs> I mean, unless you want to like really role play like evil characters like we were planning on doing eventually with this this stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know, because obviously we want to do the goody guys first, but we There's got to be a version that the evil oh, guys can live I would love in. to do yeah. a bunch of like drow, like take over the world. Yeah. <laughs> do, do moving around at night. Yeah, or... Or finding a way to get enchantments to move around during the day. Yeah. Because that could totally be a thing. Yeah. Pretty easily. Yeah. Vampires could do it. You know, so can everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Um, I think that's good for probably... It's a ring of umbrella. Oh, jeez. That would be awesome. <laughs> Just this current, a, a, constant a, umbrella. A that shade follows, follows you. <laughs> this <laughs> little cloud. <laughs> yeah. Much like, uh, dare I say, I have children, so it's the only thing I can think of. Like Olaf, when he's got that little cloud above him. Yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> Less Disney, but... Doing whatever drow do in summer. Oh, <laughs> and on that note, I feel like that's a pretty good jump-off point yeah. for this episode. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. And yeah. Doran. Yeah. I didn't know what to expect that's when fun. we started. Yeah. And it turned into a place that yeah. I can totally... And it's so fantasy. Right. It, it's oh, yeah. it's it's just oozing with fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed. Um, we'll we'll see you in the next one for sure. 
because uh, you're coming back. You don't have a choice. It's contractually obligated. If now. not, I'll eat my own shorts. He might, and I don't want to see that. So we'll see you in the next <laughs> one. And thank you so much for watching. And may your roles always be natural ones, just not natural ones. Maybe, maybe a natural two. Just at least three. <laughs> <laughs>